Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's edition of The Porch. I'm so glad that you're coming on and being a part of today's discussion as we continue our series, The Bible Book by Book. Today, we're going to deal and review the book of Proverbs, one of the most amazing books in scripture, one that I personally love and have spent countless hours studying, quoting, meditating upon. And I'm sure the same thing applies to you as well, many of you as well. I do want to welcome all of those that are coming on Facebook Live. As you do, please share the broadcast. Help me to notify more people that I'm coming on with this daily teaching. And also those that are coming from the earlier rooms in Clubhouse, Kingdom Citizens United, Prophetic Intercession, Decrees from break for Breakthrough, and the Assignment Room. Thank you so much, members of Crusaders Church and Impact University. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for sharing. If you can, please do that. And now go down to the bottom of the app in Clubhouse, hit the second icon from the left, share the broadcast. And of course, those on Facebook Live, I need you to notify more people because Facebook does not notify all of the followers that I have. And I need you to help me get this message out to more people around the world. I want to welcome those that are tuning in from Europe, Africa, Asia, Australia, the Caribbean, South America, North America, including Canada, Central America, wherever you're tuning in from. God bless you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And I'm so grateful that you are participating in this Bible journey. In case you've not downloaded the free book, um, ebook, it is at jeglobal.com. I'm sorry, jebiblestudy.com. JEBibleStudy.com. There's a free ebook. I'm, lo- I'm looking at every book. I have all the old covenant books there from Genesis through Malachi. We're going to add the New Testament books very shortly. We've already completed it, just getting it edited free of charge. And also the first five videos you can watch as well. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. We're going to add all of them, all 66 books. So I'm excited about this, this Bible study. And um, I love, love surveying, reviewing, brings up a lot of interesting points that you may have forgotten about, refreshes you, uh, helps you in your preaching, your teaching, your prophetic ministry, your, your understanding of Christ, because we're looking at Christ in these books as well, the types, the shadows. So thank you so much for participating. Also, we're in the second month now, already 2023, the number two the number representing double. I always love to decree the double over people. Double is a symbol of restoration, multiplication. It's the first number that you can multiply by other than one, that it causes increase. (coughs) So let's believe God for increase in in the month of February. (coughs) And for those who partner with me financially in what I'm doing around the world in our missions projects, um, I want you to sow a seed with the number two in it, okay? And it can be $20, it can be uh, $120, it can be $52, $22, uh, whatever you want to sow. If you still want to sow 2023, that still has a number two in it, just marking 2023 uh, as a year of favor, grace, blessing, prosperity, abundance, and multiplication. I decree that over everyone that is partnering with me, that my God will supply all of your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus, Philippians 4.19. And then my God will do exceeding abundantly above all that you can ask or think in your finances based on Ephesians 3 and 20. Uh, the giving addresses are Cash App, J-E Global, also Venmo, also PayPal at Apostle J-E, the number one, or paypal.me slash Apostle J-E, the number one. You can also zail at E-C-K-H-J-O-H-N at gmail.com. You can also give through the stars here on Facebook Live next to the heart and like button. Uh, You can also give through Clubhouse by going to my business card. You'll see all the giving addresses. Again, Cash App, J-E Global, PayPal uh, is at Apostle J-E, the number one. Again, thank you so much. Thank you for a $22 seed. Uh, those sowing into PayPal now, 
You can do it anytime during the broadcast, after the broadcast, if you're watching the replay. And I do decree Proverbs 1022 over your life. Thank you for your seed of $2. Okay, it's number two. Okay, into, into PayPal. I decree Proverbs 1022. <clears throat> May the blessing of the Lord. Thank you for your seed, um, uh, uh, so Sabrina. Thank you for your seed in the PayPal. May the blessing of the Lord make rich <clears throat> and God had no sorrow. Trying to read off Tracy. Thank you for your seed into PayPal 2023. Thank you so much. Uh, another seed coming in. Yes, for the double $22. Thank you for your seed in the PayPal. In the second month, I decree the double. I decree multiplication, increase, that God would multiply your seed sown based on 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse number 10. Also, 2 Corinthians 9, 8, that God would make all grace or favor abound toward you, that you having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. I decree that the Lord will multiply you a thousand times more and that is found in Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 11. Thank you for your seed of $22 in the PayPal. All of those that are sowing now, I decree over you. Uh, Psalm 66, 14, may, the, may you come into your wealthy place. Psalms 23, may God anoint your head with oil. Let your cup run over. Overflow, overflow, overflow in your finances. Also wealth and riches in your house. Psalms 112 and verse 3. Let you increase more and more, you and your children. Psalms 115. May God send prosperity now. Thank you, 2222. See, may God send prosperity now. Psalms one, um, Psalms 118. Prosperity now. No more delay. Um, Proverbs 12 and 13. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but when the desire comes, it is a tree of life. Let your desires come. Let, let God answer your prayers. Let your finances break forth. Let there be no holes in your bag, your purse, your wallet, or your account. Haggai 1 and 6. And also, may you break forth on the right hand and on the left. Thank you, Victoria, for your seed into PayPal. May you break forth on the right hand and on the left. I, um, Micah 2.13 May the breaker go before you. May you experience great breakthrough. Uh, thank you, Guadalupe, for your seed into PayPal. All of you that are sowing, I decree favor, grace, multiplication, increase, blessing. Those who have sown first fruits, I decree Proverbs chapter 3, that your barns will be filled with plenty. Yes, first fruits offering. May your barns be filled with plenty. And may your presses burst out with new wine, new prosperity, new abundance, new favor, new grace, new finances, new revenue, new streams coming into your life. Father, I thank you for those that are giving. As they give, let it be given unto, unto them. Press down good measures, shaken together and running over. Let it come into their bosom. Thank you, Lord, for doing exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. And finally, I decree Job 28 and 1 that you would find the vein for silver and the vein for gold. Yes, overflow seed. Thank you. 23, 23. The vein for silver, the vein for gold. You will find the prosperity vein and that gold and silver, which represents prosperity, will be your portion. God said the gold is mine and the silver is mine. Let it come into your hands and let you have abundance, breakthrough, and prosperity. Now, I know the news is that the economy, inflation, and different things, but you have to continue to believe God. Use your faith. So give. Trust God. God will do amazing things for you. We live, Lakeisha, Lakeisha, thank you for your seat of $22 in the PayPal. God will do miracles for his people. And um, God's heavenly resources will be released unto you. The windows of heaven, the floodgates of heaven, let them be open over your life. I decree and pray it now in Jesus' name. Job twenty two twenty eight. 28, we shall decree a thing and it shall be established. We've been decreeing for a long time, many different decrees, believing God that as we speak, death and life are in the power of the tongue, that you'll have life and that you'll have it more abundantly. Amen. Well, we've already looked at these different books, Genesis, the book of beginnings, 
Exodus, the book of departure, Leviticus, the book of offerings, Numbers, the book of wandering, Deuteronomy, the book of the second law, Joshua, the book of conquest, Judges, the book of deliverers, Ruth, the book of the kinsman redeemer, 1 Samuel, the book of David's sufferings, 2 Samuel, the book of David's kingdom, uh, 1 Kings, the book of the divided kingdom, 2 Kings, the book of dispersion, 1 Chronicles, the book of the theocracy, 2 Chronicles, the book of apostasy and revival or, or, or reformation, um, Ezra, the book of restoration, Nehemiah, the book of rebuilding, Esther, the book of providence, and then we looked at beginning with Job, the book of suffering and restoration, Psalms, the book of prayer and praise, and now we come to Proverbs, the book of wisdom. What an amazing, amazing book. So let's get into it from the notes. If you have them, you can follow me. Proverbs reveals the importance and priority of wisdom, the importance and priority of wisdom. Uh, this book reveals the blessings of wisdom. Wisdom brings favor, riches, wealth, peace, honor, health, long life, promotion, good sleep, righteousness, direction, discernment, justice, and dominion. Well, that alone is worth, Curtis, thank you for your seat in the PayPal. That alone is worth pursuing wisdom. Let me read that again. Wisdom brings favor, riches, wealth, peace, honor, health, long life, promotion, good sleep. Just think of that. Good sleep. That's important. Good sleep. Uh, righteousness, direction, discernment, justice, and dominion. Proverbs reveals that wisdom is available from God for those who desire it. Oh, thank you. People are still sowing. Thank you for your seed. 2323 in the PayPal. I appreciate it. God desires for us to live happy and prosperous lives and teaches us that we need wisdom to be successful. As a matter of fact, the scripture says, happy is the man that finds wisdom. So wisdom is the key to happiness. I should add that on to the benefits and blessings of wisdom, happiness. Most people want to be happy, but many people don't want wisdom because the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. We'll look at some of the key verses in a moment. Um, Again, God desires for us to live happy and prosperous lives and teaches us that we need wisdom to be successful. Solomon wrote Proverbs. Solomon asked for and received wisdom from God. Um, Solomon was promoted to great honor and wealth. Solomon surpassed all in wisdom, but Jesus is greater than Solomon. As a matter of fact, Solomon is a type of Christ. We looked at the, the, um, the types in the Bible uh, Solomon is a type of Christ. His kingdom is a type of Christ's kingdom. And, so and Jesus, of course, is full of wisdom. As a matter of fact, Christ is our wisdom. When you accept Christ, you begin to walk in the wisdom of serving God through Christ. Christ is our wisdom. We receive the spirit of wisdom through the Holy Spirit. Proverbs speaks of Christ with the question, who has ascended up unto heaven or descended? Who has gathered the wind in his fist? Who has bound the waters in a garment, who has established all the ends of the earth? What is his name and what is his son's name? If thou canst tell, that's that's verse chapter 30, verse four, where his son's name is Jesus. And we know that Jesus is the one that ascended, the one that descended. And so it really speaks of Christ in this particular book. Key verses, Proverbs 1.1. 1, 1. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel. Proverbs 3.13. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom and the man that getteth understanding. Then probably my favorite verse in all of scripture. I quote it all the time. Proverbs 4.7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Wisdom is the fundamental thing. The foundational thing. Therefore get wisdom. With all that getting, get understanding. If you were to ask people, what's the most important thing they can have? Many would say faith, the word, the Holy Spirit, power, anointing, authority, revelation. But wisdom, wisdom is the principal thing. The, the, you, the, the thing that you should prioritize in your life, wisdom. Proverbs 9 and 10. 
The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. So the fear of the Lord, which is according to Proverbs 8, 13, to hate evil, pride, <coughs> arrogance, <coughs> the evil way and the fraud tongue do I hate. That's the beginning of wisdom. Key words, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, fool and foolishness, wisdom, the ability to make good decisions, have good understanding, make correct choices, have proper relationships, discern between right and wrong, and avoid mistakes. Let me read that again. Wisdom, the ability to make good decisions, have good understanding, make correct choices, have proper relationships, discern between right and wrong, and avoid mistakes. Understanding, the ability to comprehend different subjects, comprehend the word of God and spiritual matters. And so understanding is comprehension, especially understanding the things of God and the things of the spirit of God. Knowledge, focus and information necessary to make good decisions and live a good life. The scripture says, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Please keep sharing the broadcast, Facebook. Please share the broadcast. If you're coming on late, hit the share, put it on your page. We can reach more people. Fool of foolishness, a person making unwise decisions that cause difficulties and problems in life. The acts and choices of an unwise person that destroy peace and happiness. So the scripture Proverbs talks a lot about the fool or foolishness, avoiding foolishness, uh, doing things that are unwise, making unwise choices. You know, it's amazing how people make unwise choices in life, end up in trouble and then blame God and say things like, why did God allow this to happen to me? Many times our decisions, our foolish decisions have caused us much pain. Now God can have mercy upon you, deliver you, heal you, restore you, cause you to walk in wisdom. Scripture says in Proverbs 1, turn at my reproof, turn at God's correction. He will pour his spirit out upon you, the spirit of wisdom. Um, there are many ways you can receive wisdom. I'm going to talk about that as well. There's a spirit of wisdom through the Holy Spirit. There's the wisdom by associating with wise people. There's asking God for wisdom. If any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God. Um, there is correction. Correction brings wisdom when you are corrected and you yield to correction. That brings wisdom, causes you to change your course. Uh, there is the word of wisdom, that one of the gifts of the spirit of God. Um, there is wisdom that comes through humility. When you humble yourself, uh, God gives you wisdom. Uh, there is wisdom that comes from the word of God. The word of God is full of wisdom. When you meditate upon God's word, uh, there's the, Christ is our wisdom. When you accept Christ, that's the wisest thing that you can do. Um, as a person is to bring Christ, the wisdom of God into your life. The fear of the Lord uh, brings wisdom to revere, to revere, to respect, to reverence God, to fear God, to have a dread of God uh, brings you to a place of doing what is right and making right decisions. Uh, there's, there's so many different ways God has given us. Turning at God's reproof, turning at God's correction uh, brings wisdom. Uh, being taught. You can be taught wisdom. You can receive wisdom through impartation. Moses laid hands on Joshua and imparted in him the spirit of wisdom. So you can get wisdom by someone laying hands and imparting wisdom unto you. So there, there, there you can grow in wisdom. You can increase in wisdom. Uh, wisdom is something that is so important to your life. And there are many ways you can get it you can seek out the wisdom. You can desire wisdom. Uh, you can listen to wisdom, call wisdom your kinswoman, uh, be a person of wisdom, decide to be wise, make it a priority in your life. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, avoid foolishness, avoid, avoid uh, uh, stupidity, avoid sin, avoid rebellion, disobedience. This, this is our wisdom. Uh, in, the, in the sight of God, and, and you'll find your life taking on a measure of happiness, peace, joy, prosperity, abundance, all because of wisdom. Think of it, there's a whole book in the Bible called Proverbs that talks about wisdom. 
This is such an important area until God gives us a whole book that just deals primarily with wisdom. And wisdom is found throughout scriptures, but think of that, a whole book, just like the book of Psalms, a whole book on prayer and praise shows us the importance of prayer and praise in the life of a believer. There's a whole book, a whole book on wisdom. Proverbs shows us God's importance and priority in wanting us to have wisdom and not learning the blessings of wisdom. Why should you pursue wisdom? Because there's so many blessings, riches, wealth, peace, prosperity, success, happiness, abundance, uh, making good decisions, avoiding traps, uh, avoiding premature death, long life. These are all the blessings of wisdom. And when you get that from the book of Proverbs, it really makes you a person that would develop a passion for wisdom. The key figures, Solomon, Agur, and Lemuel, three people. Solomon, king of Israel, son of David. Solomon was known for his great wisdom, spoke 3,000 Proverbs, 3,000 Proverbs, 1 Kings 4 and 32. Agur, Proverbs 30, 30 contains the words of Agur, A-G-U-R. Lemuel, Proverbs 31 contains the prophecy Lemuel's mother taught him. So um, we're going to talk about wisdom. You may have some verses in in Ecclesiastes, in, in, I'm sorry, in Proverbs that you love. I put a few of my favorite, but there's so many powerful scriptures uh, in the book of Proverbs that you can memorize, you can look at. Uh, Proverbs deals with integrity. It deals with choices. It deals with relationships. It deals with the marriage relationships. It deals with avoiding the strange woman, avoiding sexual sin, avoiding hanging out with the wrong kinds of people, avoiding associating with angry people and people of wrath, uh, associating with wise people, having godly teachers, uh, loving God, fearing God, worshiping God, uh, seeking wisdom, walking in humility, walking in the fear of the Lord, avoiding pride, arrogance. These are all things of wisdom, avoiding sin, iniquity, avoiding making a mockery of sin, uh, avoiding iniquity and perversion, avoiding drunkenness and alcohol. These are things that this book tells us to avoid. And if we follow these precepts, um, we can enjoy life and our lives do not have to be miserable and, and lacking in success. Thank you, those that have been sowing and those who have been giving on the stars as well in Facebook Live. If you like what I'm saying, you can hit the star button, which is next to the heart and like button. You can give that way, or you can go to the giving addresses again, Cash App, JE Global, or PayPal at paypal.me slash Apostle JE, the number one, or uh, PayPal at Apostle JE, the number one. Uh, we're going to continue the discussion in Clubhouse. We'll, tomorrow, we'll do the book of Ecclesiastes, the book of vanity, another powerful book. We're dealing with the books of wisdom now, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, <coughs> and then the Song of, <coughs> the song of Solomon, <coughs> which is the book of love. Uh, amazing, amazing study. Then we're going to move into the prophets. Uh, I love studying the prophets, beginning with Isaiah, the book of salvation, the evangelical prophet. Love that book, a mini Bible, 66 chapters. And uh, again, if you have not downloaded the free ebook, you can follow me directly in this study. Go to jebiblestudy.com, free of charge. Download it on your mobile device. Also watch the first five videos of, of Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. They're not long, but they're full of principles and teachings concerning those books, Christ in those books, historical background, and what the book is all about give you a much better view of scripture and a much better understanding of scripture. Thank you so much. We're going to continue tomorrow. And uh, until you hear from me again on Facebook Live, God bless you. Thank you so much and shalom. And we're going to go to Clubhouse and I'm going to turn it over to Octavia and you can moderate the room. God bless.